hi everyone welcome back so if you guys remember a few months ago I actually cleaned this uh, blower fan but uh, it still doesn't sound good then I replaced it with an aftermarket one first of all it has a clamp that is holding the the clamp is just for uh, securing it but I don't think it's holding it to the shaft uh, so let's remove the clamp this uh, clamp right here on the bottom this assembly seems to be like sealed and I don't think uh, it's possible to access the bearing from the bottom the only way possible is to remove, remove this and then go from there okay guys so i tried to use this punch and after a one blow all this mud fell off from the blower motor so if you guys are uh, disassembling this inside your house uh, make sure you guys uh, watch out and don't mess up your floor so i'm gonna clean this and then i'm gonna keep punching it until i disassemble this check this out so i was able to remove this uh, propeller I used a punch on the top I was holding this from the propeller and uh, my wife she hit it with a hammer and it uh, after a few blows it came out so this is how it looks now I'm going to try to open this and then lubricate the bearing and hopefully it solves the squeaking problem so I was able to remove this uh, protective cap I believe it's a dust cap uh, there is a bearing under it uh, which is gonna be very hard to remove so the way to remove this dust cap is uh you know use a flathead screwdriver and a support on the side so just pry it open gently it's not too hard now uh, once it's like a coca-cola uh, glass bottle cap and that is kind of pressed in so it's very easy to remove all you gotta do is to use a kind of a support on a side to give you leverage to pry it outside once you pry it on one side then pry it a little bit on the other side and that's how you will be able to take it out now if you are going to clean this if you guys are going to clean this i suggest to use some kind of uh, you know electrical cleaner so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna clean this thoroughly if it's if you if if you guys don't have electrical cleaner handy you guys can use anything that is alcohol based or a brake cleaner might also work but it may melt the plastic so be very careful whatever chemical you guys are using it should be safe for the plastic parts and uh, then opening this wasn't really a big challenge but the challenge was to clean this so i used the combination of cleaning tools like these these were handy oh, you guys gotta clean it from the outside first each fin go and clean each fin individually once the outside is clean there is still, kind of, still some kind of residue in here but uh, I even brushed it with a toothbrush cleaner but it's not coming off and then clean it from the inside each and every fin and then wash it uh, thoroughly 
So now I'm going to lubricate this um, bearing um, using maybe WD-40 or um, whatever uh, lubricating spray you guys have. So and then I'm gonna close it back together and then install it again and then I'll give you guys an update if it's still squeaking. Okay guys, so I cleaned it thoroughly with the brake clean. I mean not the brake cleaner, but the electrical cleaner from inside out. Once you guys spray it around over here, then I suggest to hold it like this and then spray inside also. So all the dust or mud can get cleaned. Now that, let's lubricate this. When I was rotating this shaft by my fingers, I could hear it, it was a little bit uh, sounded dry. This is what I'm using. As you guys can see, there is a lot of uh, lubricating oil sitting in here. I'm just going to wait till it gets absorbed by the bearing and then I'm gonna do the same process by holding it upside down and let, let it absorb. And then I'm gonna wipe it down with a dry cloth and put it back together and then uh, i will install it and let you guys know what are the results if it's still squeaking the dust cap is back on when you guys are pressing this back in make sure it's centered if it's not centered it's gonna rub this shaft is gonna rub against the dust cap and you guys might think it's the bad bearing but it could it could be the noise of dust cap and uh once you guys clean this propeller make sure there is no lubrication on it otherwise it's gonna catch dust like a magnet and it's gonna clog up immediately so make sure everything is dry and clean same with this one keep it lubricated but dry wipe it afterwards and then install it there is only one way to put this uh, propeller back on the shaft it has kind of a slit on the side so if it's not matching, it's not gonna go in. And once that goes in, put the tension clamp on, clamp on the top. And this is how it looks after cleaning it. Uh, pretty nice. This is actually the box for the aftermarket blower motor that I bought off a few months ago. The reason I didn't fix the original one is because it was pretty cold and miserable outside. Plus I was also busy and it was just $40 with shipping and it's working pretty fine. This is the model number. If you guys want to keep a spare one, it's good to have a spare on hand. And let's install the OEM and find out if it's working fine. Let's remove the aftermarket blower motor from there. This is the OEM original one and it's pretty straightforward all you gotta do is to unplug this connector harness it has three screws which are hard to miss one is here the other one is here and one on the back if you guys don't know how to remove that uh, i can share a link i have already made a video of that so let's replace replace the aftermarket with oem and let's see if it has any noise and by the way these screws that are holding the blower motor these these are a seven millimeter uh, you guys can use a seven millimeter socket or um, Phillips head screwdriver just for comparison you guys can see the difference between the aftermarket blower motor which has a tiny nut on the top and this is the original blower motor this is from rock auto which isn't bad, it's working perfectly. 
fine but i like the oem parts hopefully you guys didn't throw away your oem and you guys still have your oem in box and this video may help fix your problem blower motor is uh mounted now it's very easy to remove anybody can remove it uh but be careful when you guys are screwing it back together don't be hulk hogan it's just plastic use less force on it don't use too much let's plug it in and let's try it now okay i started the car uh, let's wait for this thing to boot up it, it's been parked for a while so if you guys don't start it within 24 hours this thing need to boot up okay moment of truth let's put it on full blast There is no squeak coming from it but let's get closer to it and let's see if, if, if let's listen to it the original blower motor has more power the OE, the aftermarket one isn't bad, it's a little bit tight fit, but it's a good, uh, you know, it, it's a good replacement, but it's not as good as uh, the OEM blower motor. As you guys can hear, there is no squeak coming from it, and I think uh, we successfully fixed this problem, and uh, See you guys in future. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.